This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 4th of September. I'm James Spann. What a tremendous flooding event we had last night and this morning over west and south Alabama. Let's get in there and talk about it and what's uh, to come in the days ahead. First off, the uh, Skycam images around the network. We'll start with the Selma Skycam. And the range there were just unbelievable. Uh, we had an observer that had 9.64 inches of rain. Uh, since late last night. And, and you're seeing some of the images coming in from the uh, Span Twitter army of the flooding around Selma. Uh, at one point, uh, three feet of water running across uh, roadways. It's been a big mess, but thank goodness the rain has uh, tapered off for now. We'll go up this way. This is the Trustful Sky Cam, and uh, we've got some low clouds hanging over the city but uh, and some rain around, but uh, no flooding issues for the Birmingham Metro. And way down south, that's our Gulf Shore Sky Cam on the Alabama Gulf Coast, where they've got some rain falling there. Check the uh, water vapor satellite view, and you know what that thing is? That's the ghost of Isaac. Uh, that circulation center has been drifting south, and that's the reason for all the big rains. I mean, it's just this, this thing will not leave us alone. We've been talking about this for so long, and you have to wonder now, could this thing get back in the Gulf and just maybe try and regenerate. And this is not Isaac in the classic sense. This is a chunk of what used to be Isaac, but still, we'll have to watch the Northern Gulf later this week for maybe a little homebrew backyard system. In fact, look at the visible satellite imagery, and you can almost see like a, a swirl. You can see some banding with this feature. I would call it a mesoscale convective vortex, an MCV, but uh, there's clearly helicity and rotation with this as it's dropping south, and you can see those convective pockets uh, the big rains that uh, produced the flooding in Selma, those are down south. And uh, some new showers and storms have fired this afternoon across north Alabama. That's the radar at 215. You've got uh, tropical showers lined up there from uh, Tuscaloosa uh, over to around Cheehaw State Park, Ranburn, and Wadawi. Also some showers up around Coleman County. Those are dropping south, but uh, nothing as widespread or as heavy as uh, yesterday so far. Oh, boy, that's the... Rain estimates based on the next rad data. If this is right, the bullseye, really there's several bullseyes. you got one around Reform and Gordo. You've got one east of Greensboro. And the big one is down there around Braggs. That's in Lowndes County between Selma and Greenville. And uh, that's suggesting some 10-inch-plus amounts. And I believe that after getting a report of 9.64 in Selma. Wow. What's funny, though, you, you look in places like Clanton, they had hardly any rain in the past 24 hours. Jemison, Montevallo, hardly a drop. Alabaster. And then you go up to Birmingham, and the rain was heavy again there. So uh, you never know with these summer convective systems. All right, severe weather for the rest of the day and the night. A slight risk. That's the standard risk for a far southwest Alabama, out ahead of that uh, MCV-type feature, south Mississippi and southeast Louisiana. And tomorrow, risk up north for places like Chicago and Grand Rapids and St. Louis. This is rain for the next five days, valid through Sunday morning at 7 o'clock local time. And notice that 6.1-inch bullseye. That's really the feature that kind of used to be Isaac, and it kind of gets in the Gulf. And that's the reason I'm saying we'll have to watch out for some type of homebrew action down there in the backyard. And around here, that's showing amounts of about one inch. And I think we could see more than that. Now, true, we're going to be, the shower should be much more widely scattered for the rest of this week. But on Saturday, a cold front comes in, and that should kick off a good round of showers and storms. Check the tropical weather scene. A couple of systems, both tropical storms. Leslie, a large scale system. Michael, a much smaller system. And those are both high latitude systems, and typically they just don't bother us. And I don't think these will. There's the track of Leslie. Now, this could be a hurricane going very close to Bermuda late this weekend or really early in the weekend. So uh, that could be a big issue there. I would imagine a lot of folks are thinking about get off that, getting off that island uh, tonight or tomorrow. Uh, there's the GFS ensembles on Leslie, and they all recurve that. And again, it might want to clip Nova Scotia uh, early next week, but uh, should not be a problem for the United States. Uh, the other one is Michael, just kind of snaking around out there in the middle of nowhere and Guidance uh, from the GFS Ensembles has it basically staying out in the middle of nowhere. All right, let's check the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid at 1, uh, 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon at 500 millibars. And aloft, you got that 588 upper high over the Gulf. You know, that creates some favorable ventilation for a potential tropical system. And I'm, I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm just saying let's watch. And down below that, the feature that was Isaac is down there in the northern Gulf. 
And we are drier tomorrow. Uh, yes, there could be a shower or two, but they should be fairly widely spaced and mostly during the afternoon. And we should heat up a little bit, the high close to 90. There's Thursday. And again, look at that thing down there in the Gulf. We'll just keep an eye on that. But around here, kind of partly sunny, maybe a shower in spots, the high near or maybe just over 90. And the same thing on Friday. Uh, so for tomorrow, Thursday and Friday, showers around here should be fairly widely spaced. And we heat up a little bit, and again, we'll just watch the Gulf. Now, Saturday, here comes a deep trough developing over the east. And if there's anything in the Gulf, that will pick it up and carry it northeast. And down below that, some of that moisture could kind of get entrained up on that front. And that might be a pretty wet day. Uh, it's a little early in the game to talk about how much or exactly when. But if you got something planned outdoors, going to a college football game, be aware rain could be a very significant issue. And we start to turn cooler because of the clouds and rain, highs in the uh, low to mid-80s. And Sunday, the trough digs. In fact, there's some energy coming through the base of that. And down below that, that's going to be a kind of a cool day. Uh, we might have a hard time getting past the mid-70s, a fresh north breeze. And because of the energy coming through the base of the trough, we might even see a shower or two. I would not call it a rainy day. Just maybe a chance of uh, convective showers because of the cold air aloft with that thing. And uh, Monday, it's all gone. Uh, beautiful day here. Start the day in the 50s. The GFS is showing 58. I think we could be cooler than that. The high only 79. Just gorgeous. Low humidity. And Tuesday, we are dry and very pleasant. And note that surface low up there around uh, Delmarva. You know, that that's the feature that kind of came out of the Gulf. It used to be Isaac. This thing might just stick around for years if this is right who knows but anyway we'll keep an eye on things out there that's it for the weather extreme video today we'll have notes on the blog next video here by seven o'clock tomorrow morning and don't forget to watch us on abc 3340 news on the live stream or the television side this evening at four five six and ten thanks for watching have a great evening and god bless